For many people, 3D scanning still has a bit of a black magic feel to it. Others may have seen 3D scanning systems in the past, but might not know exactly how easy it can be to accurately recreate objects with a professional level scanner. I'm going to demo Artex Studio 11 with the autopilot feature to show exactly how easy it can be. So let's switch over to the software here. And you'll be able to see my turntable along with this little sumo character we're going to scan today. I have the Artex Space Spider here, but everything I'm going to do in the software also applies to the Artex Eva. Open my scan tab, and I'm going to press up on the back of a scanner to enable a preview. This will let me point my scanner in the correct direction. I'll press up again to start scanning. And you will see kind of a, a preview image of the raw data that it's capturing. This is called real-time fusion, and it is piecing together all the raw frames that it's capturing right now. Now we want the complete object, so I'm going to turn this over and do another scan. And then one more, and we don't really need this many scans for this object, but I want to show how, uh, how nicely the auto alignment process works with multiple scans. All right. And that's it for the scanning. So I always tell people just to wait till the end before making judgment on these scans because uh, they usually say to me, well, that looks terrible, right? Um, yes, it looks like a bit of a mess, but wait till the end and I believe you will be impressed because what we're looking at right here is just the raw unprocessed data. I'm going to click autopilot here and it's going to automatically remove the base from each of these models. And then it asks which scans you want to use for uh, processing. I'm just going to click select all and it will select just the raw scan data. I'm going to click next. And then what it does is it gives me this little wizard here, right? So it's basically just asking you questions about each aspect of the, uh, the model that you scanned as well as the results that you want. Um, basically, they're just drop down boxes. So like good, bad, object size, all this. And there's these little helpful tips here. You can click these little question marks next to each of these questions and it'll tell you exactly what it means by good texture, bad texture, bad geometry, good geometry. So it makes it quite easy here. I'm going to leave all of this on auto except for the resolution. I just want this model at 0.3 uh, millimeter resolution for this scan. I'm going to click next. It asks me if I want to edit anything. I don't really want to erase anything here. This is all data that I want. It already automatically removed the base here. So I'm going to say skip this step. And now it's going to do its auto alignment. This works quite well. It can really, really save you a lot of time uh, if you have a whole bunch of scans. Now it's asking, does the alignment look correct? And you can just look over your model. Yes, this looks good to me. If it didn't align properly, you would have the option to go in and manually align things. And now what it's doing here is going through and running the behind the scenes algorithms that you don't really have to worry about. Um, but all of these algorithms were set up by that little questionnaire that, you, uh, that we ran through at the beginning. These first few steps here are basically fine tuning the raw scan data so that you have really good results. 
And then this fusion here is taking all the raw frames and we had, uh, we had a few hundred raw frames captured. And it's going to fuse them all together into our final single surface model, into our final mesh that could then be exported either as an STL or an OBJ um, or a point cloud, uh, .asc, any number of things depending on what you're trying to do with this data. And this usually just takes just a little bit of time. What's nice about this is for larger objects, if it is taking a little bit of time, you can just leave it, walk away, come back, and your model will be finished when you're done. And now it's reapplying the texture which is the color in this case. The RTX scanners are full color scanners. It applied the texture, now it's optimizing it, removing these seams. And it says the model's ready. So I'll click OK. Even though it was fully automated, this does look a little bit dark to me uh, when compared to the source model. So I can actually come over here and say adjust texture. It does give you this option. And I can adjust this to where it looks a little closer to where it did in real life. Hit apply. And that's it. I can look at the model. This looks pretty good. I can double check my geometry here by turning off the texture. Again, this looks good. You can see the little, we've got the text on the bottom, we've got the parting line here from the molding process. And that's it. That's all there is to it. You can find sample scan data and scanner specs on our website digitizeddesigns.com.